the Walmart in Columbia, South Carolina by Fort Jackson. And check this out. There is literally no food on the shelves. None. Look, look. Lunch meat. It's supposed to be lunch meat there. It's all gone. It is all gone. There is no meat here at all. This is wild. That's for grilling. Breakfast, nothing. We're getting into the, this is the poultry section. This is crazy. I think we have a, a trucking shortage or something going on or, or delivery shortage or something. I don't know. This is, this is trippy. Nothing over here in the beef section. Crazy. We're in the Walmart. Shalom, Shalom, Kaha Law, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praises to the Most High. And, and name is only begotten Son, name is Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets of Babylon, camp down here in Tampa, Florida. Um, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole four legs scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to touch on this topic right here that you see on the screen um, about famine is coming. Okay, it's, the video is titled Famine is Coming. And this is true. You see the many videos that it's all all over the world, you know, especially America, of these stores with empty shelves. And it's only going to increase. It's only going to speed up, you know. Um, and this is on Instagram from from a brother, my cap named Kasa Gadal. And I, I love Instagram, man, because you can just go on here and the brothers, you know, well, well, you know, especially the brothers in my camp in particular, you know, who I've, you know, showed, you know, how to you know utilize these um platforms and he, they'll take a video like this right here and they'll put all these scriptures on it man so you can just go in here and just you know get a video just like that you know so real quick i'm on my break so i want to knock this out real quick um but going in going into this famine man okay mass food food shortages is coming and walmart in particular you know i used to work at walmart a while back a while back man and what they do is anytime like the lights go out even if it's for like fucking five seconds man even if it's for three seconds you know if, if if the electricity goes out you know everything that they have they have to throw it away you know all the food has to get thrown away which which means all this food gets wasted okay now you gotta think about in your own house when the lights go out you know this a thunder strike it may hit and even the lights may go out do you throw away all your food no but they do this because they say they say the food can't be sold and they'll you know throw all the food out in a fucking huge dumpster in the back and then they'll fucking guard the dumpster like 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 it's damn Fort Knox or something man okay and they do this purposely because they want to um and and shoe a famine okay they, 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 this famine is orchestrated this famine is um according to their plan and they want to ultimately starve you people out so you run to them for that karagma all right so it says um it says, this will be your state, city, neighborhood, store very soon. Repent or perish. And that's the truth. If you don't repent and seek your help by Shemir, I'll start speaking to you Israelites first and foremost. You so-called Negro, Spanish, Native Indians. And we know only the elect is going to get it. If you do not repent, you're going to perish here. Esau is going to make sure of it. Okay. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouse shall suddenly be found empty. Okay. And this right here. Is, is is just the beginning man of you know more and more empty shelves more and more um storehouses being found empty you may like 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 this guy he, he went into the store and he probably went in the day before and it was good next day you know, he going in now and it's empty now like i said i believe this is probably you know them you know they, they, they usually do this because you know lights went out of some shit and they're trying to get rid of all that food and then they're going to replace it but you know um all, all all this is leading up, man, because there's all, already supply shortages and food shortages. Okay, so, hey, man, it's about to get nasty out here. It says, um, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 4, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So if you don't believe in this truth, you don't believe in Yahweh Shema Shai, you're going to die, man. Okay, you're going to starve to death, or however you may have it, man. The Lord got a, a special judgment prepared for you. It says, uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword, a gun, a knife, a, a screwdriver, a hammer, motherfucker breaking your house for, for what? Your food. And spoil their goods, spoil all your shit, you know, 
because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So because of the lack of bread, because of the lack of food, and they already told you like what, maybe nine weeks ago, they had said you had 10 weeks left of wheat, you know? <laughs> so because of the lack of bread, okay, which means food and great tribulation, all hell breaking loose, people ain't gonna give a fuck. They're gonna just be taking, if they see it, they taking it, man. And, and these Americans, they got guns, man. So, you know, it's gonna be robberies everywhere. And it, I was while watching a video the other day, um, or a video I heard someone on the news or something like that, and they're saying how crime is going up, man. Crime is going up. Now ain't the time to be trying to be flashy and cute and shit. Now is the time to just be going about your date and, you know, be circumspect because you got people that's literally snatching, you know, jewelry off people, you know, beating people, pistol people for their jewelry, you know, not even knowing if it's real or fake, but they'll do it because what? They're, you know, that lack of bread for great tribulation is starting to kick in. You know, Jake got fucking, you know, all these bills that every day they, they got to pay. I saw a video of, like I said, I was sitting the other day, but I saw a video of a man, older man, sitting outside his driveway, and a car pulled up, a Hellcat pulled up, and um, a man got a Hellcat. Somebody was still in the Hellcat. The driver was still in there, but, you know, a man got out, started pistol whipping the old man, trying to rob him, uh, 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 trying to rob him of his watch. You know, you, you hear on, on the video, is take it off, take it off, give me the watch, give me the watch. And as he pistol whipping here, ping, ping. Bing, bing. So we coming into that time, okay? This little, the, the love of many shall wax cold, okay? And the people gonna be just doing what the fuck they wanna do, and and, and they're not gonna care who the who, whoever they doing it to, man. I did a video a little while ago about a, a old lady that got knocked across the head after she came out of pizza shop. You know, she got knocked across the head, and the man stole her pizza, man. Okay, he knocked her across the head and stole her pizza. So shit getting bad, man. And uh, you know, it, it, these people are 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 not, are not going to spare you because you're a woman or because you're old or because you're young nah man it's gonna be you know if anything a, 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 you're gonna be a, 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 a even easier target it's gonna be a doggy dog world out here man second like ezra chapter 16 verse 21 behold victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and even then shall evils grow bad times upon the earth sore famine and great confusion we see in great confusion upon this earth man i just saw a video of a man and woman going back and forth about, you know, what identifies you as a man. This place is confused, okay? And um, 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 22, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the, the hunger shall the sword destroy. So, hey, people going to be dying, man. Okay, they're going to be starving to death. And the ones that escape the um the the the, 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 the hunger, I mean, you may have food, people coming to get your food. So your ass might, 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 might get shot or stabbed up for it, man. You know, especially these, you know, the, the, and you see that all the time in these movies where these shopkeepers, these um, people that have, that have these stores or whatever, the people, you know, they'll be having all these food in these stores or whatever, and, and they'll see people ram stacking the damn store, and, and the damn, the, the store clerk will, 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 will be somewhere behind a damn aisle, behind a shelf, you know, suffering of, um, you know, a stab wound or something, man. But it says, um, I'm going to end off with this, Lamentation chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword, I mean, die from a gun or, you know, violence, are better than they that be slain with hunger, because hunger is a slow, painful death. For these pine away, stricken away, stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. People going to be pining away, man. We're going to be stricken through for the um the wants of the field. I mean, people going to be hungry. You know, you're going to see people, you know, you know people's ribs showing, their bones showing, their face sunk in, malnutrition. Okay, all this is leading up to ultimate hell and great death and destruction. If you ain't on your house watching your shots good side, then you are about to be in the midst of it, man. With that being said, I'm gonna say shalom, Kwame Shirala, Baba Ball, Prince Lessons, Edifies, and Hopeful Elect. Shalom.